Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to bring you guys these holiday cookies that are healthy and delicious. If you haven't entered the giveaway going on right now, I will leave those videos for Treat Week down below. And I'm doing giveaways on Instagram. They started on Saturday, and I'm doing one every day this week all the way until Christmas. So make sure you follow me on there. There's lots of good and really nice things that I'm giving away to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into these delicious, healthy holiday cookies. The first one I am making are gingerbread, and that's partly because so many of you guys said that this was your favorite treat. I knew I had to make a healthy spin. So I'm using some nut butter as well as some coconut sugar. Nut butter is nice high in fats, and the coconut sugar is lower on the glycemic index. I'm adding in two flax eggs, so this is a vegan recipe as well along with some vanilla and some coconut oil. Coconut oil is great to heal your gut lining and to help satiate you. Of course, we need all the spices that go into gingerbread. So we need cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and clove. And all these great warming spices are great for your immune system as well, and they're loaded with antioxidants. Ginger, again, great for your digestion and just keeping you nice and healthy because it is an antiviral and antibacterial. And in the wintertime, you definitely don't wanna be sick, especially near Christmas. Then I'm adding in a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. Now it's very important to look for blackstrap molasses when you buy it because that's the one that has all the great benefits in it. Loads of iron and vitamins and minerals as opposed to just plain molasses. I'm adding in coconut flour here, which is gonna be our flour that we use. It's great, it's high in protein, high in fiber, it's gluten-free, it's grain-free, and coconut flour is one of the more uh, less expensive flours compared to almond flour, so it's more affordable. Mix that together, and then I'm just using an ice cream scoop to make a nice, big, bald cookies. Guys, I like my cookies a good size. If I'm gonna have a cookie, I want it to be a nice size cookie. So I take about a golf ball and then I'm pressing that down. And you're gonna wanna cook these on either a silicone baking sheet or some parchment paper because you definitely don't want them to stick. And it's optional to wear a fun festive t-shirt. Mine says Santa, I know him, which is from the movie Elf. So if you guys have seen that, you'll know that line very well. So go ahead and press those down. And these made six larger cookies for me. So you can definitely double the recipe if you want to bring them for friends or give them as a gift or something. Um, but they do make six large cookies. And I keep mine in the freezer if I know I'm not gonna eat them within a couple days just so that they're fresh. Next up, we're making these grain-free shortbreads. Guys, I'm obsessed with this recipe. So first off, we're starting with cassava flour. The great thing about cassava flour is it's a very finely milled flour, so it's very comparable in texture to a normal white flour. I'm adding in almond flour as well as some coconut oil, and then I'm adding in a little bit of vanilla for flavor. So the cassava and the almond do really work well together, um, but if you have to do one or the other, you could definitely make it all almond or all cassava, but the texture is best with them both. Maple syrup for a little bit of sweetness, pinch of Himalayan salt, which really brings it out, and then you just mix that dough together. So for this dough, because the coconut oil is melted, I do chill it for about 10 minutes before you use your cookie shapes. This is just gonna be easier for the dough to handle and it's not gonna be as sticky or as warm. So chill it for about 10, 15 minutes and then you can go ahead and we can start rolling it out. So I'm just clumping it into a big ball. And this what's really fun is that you can make any kind of different shapes with this. Of course, you can just make round shortbread cookies, but I thought it was time to get festive, to get my cookie cutters out, to get my rolling pin out, and that way we can make some fun shapes. So as you can see, it rolls out super easily. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can definitely just use like a glass water bottle or something that you have that's just round. Then I'm just using my cookie cutter shapes, wiggling it a bit around, and honestly, you get it so easily that it won't get stuck or anything like that. It's really easy to work with this dough. So go ahead and make all the different shapes that you want. And then after I bake them, I am going to be drizzling them with just a little bit of coconut butter because it makes it really pretty. They definitely taste good on their own, but this just makes it a little extra pretty and kind of feels like frosting or icing. So I just drizzle that on top of them, and guys, they are so good. I am so happy with how this turned out because I definitely like a basic shortbread cookie, but this one is grain-free and it's super good for you too, and it tastes amazing. And lastly, we could not make not make a peppermint chocolate cookie. So I'm starting off with some nut butter. You can use almond butter, peanut butter, walnut, any kind of nut or seed butter will do here, as well as some coconut sugar. So the combo of the high fats with the nut butter really helps to minimize that blood sugar spike and kind of balance them out. 
Then I'm gonna take some cacao, but you can definitely use cocoa too since we are baking it. Now the key is you do wanna sift this. You wanna put it through it so you don't get chunks of cocoa that are gonna be very hard to mix in. So definitely sift it through until it's nice and fine and it'll mix evenly. I'm adding in, of course, some peppermint extract. So I added a one teaspoon and then some Himalayan salt. Again, the salt with the sweet helps to really bring it out. And then a teaspoon of baking soda, which is just gonna help the cookies kind of develop. I'm also adding in an egg. I haven't tried this with the flax egg, but I'm sure it would work just the same. And then mix that dough together until it's nice and thick and combined. Once that's done, again, I'm taking about a golf ball size, rolling it between my hands. And with the nut butter, you do get kind of like a marbled effect if you don't beat it with like a kitchen beater, which I kind of like because it looks really pretty with the swirl. But you can definitely beat that through. I topped it with some of the wholesome candy canes, which are just made from fruit juice, even though they don't taste fruity. Um, so they're naturally colored, which is nice and they taste so good. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys a quick recipe for homemade eggnog. So I'm using a full can of coconut milk, full fat, along with some almond milk, a little bit of vanilla, and then some nutmeg. And that's all that goes into this really basic eggnog that tastes great. It gives you the flavor of eggnog, but it's super easy to make at home. The secret though is the canned coconut milk, and it tastes so good with all of these cookies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make the cookies and the eggnog and they go together so well. If you make them, tag me on Instagram and show me because I love seeing and sharing all of your creations and it makes me happy that you guys are enjoying these delicious treats too. If you have any more requests for holiday recipes, there will be one more recipe going up before the holidays. So let me know down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.